Legend tells us one thing, history another. The Batman has apparently had a test screening, but do I believe it? My name is Tom, you can believe everything I say because I'm on Twitter and this is Tom's Day. So this morning I wake up and I look at my Twitter feed and all over Twitter I'm seeing all these early reactions because apparently the upcoming Batman movie with Robert Pattinson and Matt Reeves had a test screening and the audience there apparently lost their minds for it. Now, I don't particularly believe this rumor, and I'm going to get into why, but first of all, let me preface this by saying this. I am going to mention a person on Twitter who I think is also a YouTuber who does have some popularity, and I want to make this very clear right now. I am not making this video to shit on this person. This is not a hate video directed at YouTubers or anything like that. I am just reacting and just giving my personal opinion. This is not a hate piece for this particular YouTuber, okay? Let me make that very clear right off the bat, every pun intended. And speaking of YouTubers, if you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. Okay, so let's lay some groundwork to start with. What is a test screening? Because a lot of you might be thinking, you know, a test screening and an advanced fan screening and a premiere and aren't they all the same thing? No, they are not. A test screening is when a studio has a film that's sort of, you know, still in the works and they've got a cut of the movie and they bring in a very select group of people to watch the movie and there's a survey and there's a discussion at the end and these people will give notes on the movie. Now, what happens in most of these test screenings, if not all of them, is that people sign contracts. NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, which mean they are not allowed to talk about it or even reveal that they were at this screening. They also take phones away from people before they go in, so there's no footage that gets out. And a lot of the time, you know, test audiences are people that, you know, are known to, to people within the production of the movie. Sometimes I think they just pull random people from the street, but more often than not, it is people who are known to the people who are actually involved in in the movie. So it makes it easier. It's a very controlled environment. And a lot of the times when you go, you're not even allowed to say you're at a test screening at all. So this Twitter feed, this Twitter thread gets posted today by Blu-ray Angel. Now listen, again, this is not a hit piece. I'm just reacting to this thread, okay? So he said that he had someone, he knows someone who was at this supposed test screening for the Batman. And they said the following things. The Batman movie is a horror movie. Very graphic, very dark, very scary. Paul Dano is fucking crazy. So fucking scary. I loved every second. I have a million things to say about Catwoman. She's my favorite. Holy shit. Definitely my favorite Catwoman. Robert Pattinson's Batman voice is perfect in my opinion. And then there is another thread that I saw that said this. It's a horror movie. Very dark. Paul Dano looks scary. Selena and Bruce argue a lot. Zoe Kravitz is one of the best parts of the movie and she's also the best Catwoman. Now, if we look at all these points, these are all things that you could surmise from that teaser trailer that we got. Paul Dano looks creepy as Riddler. Yeah, he looked creepy in the teaser trailer. Robert Pattinson's voice is perfect. Yeah, and the one line he said in the trailer was kind of cool. Zoe Kravitz is as is, is good as Catwoman, no surprise there, Zoe Kravitz is a good actress. There's nothing that was revealed from this supposed person who went to this supposed test screening that is at all surprising. And there's nothing said here that's particularly new information. So let's say for a second that this anonymous person, who we don't know who it is, probably because it's not real, let's just say for a second that they did go to this test screening and those were their thoughts on the movie. Okay, listen. Is there a possibility that there was a test screening and this person saw it and told his friend Blue Rat Angel who then reported it on Twitter? Is that at all possible? Yes, it's possible. However, it's highly unlikely. We've seen this so often. Does anybody remember back in 2016, I think before Batman vs. Superman came out, that apparently there was a test screening and the movie got a standing ovation for 15 minutes, and then that was later debunked by people involved in the movie saying, that never fucking happened. So look, what I'm saying here really is, I don't think people should be taking this information and running with it, because it's not a reli it's not coming from a reliable place. It's not The Hollywood Reporter. It's not Variety. It's not Deadline. It's coming from an anonymous, unnamed person 
who told somebody who then put it on Twitter. And we've seen time and time and time again, so many movies, big anticipated movies coming out that there is report, reported test screenings for that later on we find out it wasn't real at all. The Rise of Skywalker had one where it was saying that people walked out because it was a disaster. By the way, in a test screening, you're not actually allowed to leave. Again, Batman vs Superman had apparently had a standing ovation. We've seen these reports about test screenings coming out for movies from people who have a biased opinion one way or the next. Now, I'm not saying that's the case here with Blu-ray Angel, but a lot of the time, these things come from people who are either pro whatever the movie is or anti whatever the movie is. The reports from that Rise of Skywalker test screening were from people who clearly had an agenda and already were pre uh, predisposed to not like that the, the sequel trilogy. So they create, what do they do? They create this fake rumor about test screenings and it being a disaster. But we've also seen it happen the other way with movies that someone's very excited for and they put out these rumors that there was a test screening and everybody loved it. And 99% of the time, these things end up not being true. So all I'm saying is, don't get too ahead of yourselves. These test screenings are very controlled environments. And if someone did see the Batman, and I'm sure people have seen the Batman, and they are going around telling people their thoughts on it, well, first of all, they're in trouble because they're breaking the rules, first of all. Actually breaking legally binding contracts, that's not really cool. Now, I'm not sitting here saying, you know, there is absolutely no possibility that this could be true. I'm not saying that you know, Blu-ray Angel is making this up. That's not what I'm saying here at all. But this really should be taken with a massive grain of salt because there's, there's just so many examples of this happening. And I'm looking forward to the Batman as much as anybody else. You know, it's a movie I'm really looking forward to. And despite everything said in these Twitter threads, nothing that said was at, at all surprising because you've got Matt Reeves, who's a fantastic director directing Robert Pattinson who's a fantastic actor in a movie from the small trailer we've seen thus far that looks really really good so I'm not going to be surprised at all if we walk into the Batman and it's as amazing as these reports are saying all I'm saying is I don't personally believe them anyway guys what are your thoughts on this whole thing do you believe the test screening rumors do you not what do you think about this whole situation thank you very much for watching guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies my name is Tom and I will see you guys next time